So she said, uh, referring to this verse, some people do believe that Hadrat Lut uh, has uh, suggested that these people uh, who belong to him, who were known of doing mischief, huh? uh, she said that some people do believe that Hadrat Lut had suggested that uh, those people uh, from his nation who used to commit mischief should take away his daughter. Yes, in marriage. <laughs> so, yes. No. So what is the real meaning? Yes. You see, first of all, I can't understand how a believer of uh, a believer in the truth of the Quran and Rasulullah has such false concept of prophethood. Things which cannot be expected of ordinary Muslims. They expect of some of the greatest prophets. Greatest because that prophet's name is mentioned in Surah in Quran. So all the prophets mentioned in the Quran must be very great. There must be some reason why Allah chose them. Now they believe that Hazrat Lu offered his own girls to those who had gathered around him and who wanted those two angels who appeared in the form of humans and wanted them to be handed over to the crowd. So instead, Hazrat Lut said, take my daughters away and do whatever you like with me. It is extremely stupid. It's untenable because those people were those who were not interested in girls anyway. <laughs> they were not interested in women at all. They were interested in other things. So what would be the answer of her truth to them? Leave these guests in whom you are interested and take my daughters away in which you are not interested. So the stupidity of this understanding becomes very clear from the close study of the verses. And secondly, as I put before, it's a shame to allege that Hazrat Lut offered to these hooligans his own daughters. They can't offer their daughters to any hooligan, can they? It's a shame on them. They consider themselves higher in status than prophets. Not only that, and no ordinary person would permit this to happen. They give their life for the sake of the honor of their daughters. And look at their concept of a prophet, Luth. So this is all absolutely wrong. What Hazrat Luth pointed out was that do not use this filthy language. Do not make these filthy demands. While my daughters are here listening to you, what you are talking about, how will Abhanati have some regard for their purity who, in whom you are not interested anyway, so they are chaste to you? Have some regard for these chaste ladies. What are you talking? This sheer nonsense and rubbish and they are listening. So how live Banati means they are my daughters. They are present in the house. So don't speak such rubbish in the hearing of these daughters. That's the only meaning is acceptable. Got it? Good. <laughs> Again, particularly notice the words of the Quran, Wahunna Atharulakum. So when he admits that they are atharulakum, how can he offer them? Atharu means you're not interested in them. 
there are two things for you. So the offering concept of some ulama is totally rubbish. It's totally unfounded according to this verse of the Quran. If they are athar, why does he offer them? <laughs> Understand? 